What's up, YouTube? FXFB NYC is back. I hope everyone's doing all right. And I uh, hope everyone's safe during these dark, dark times that we're all going through right now. As you can see, I'm on the bike. Uh, I wanted to just get out and practice my social distancing. But, nonetheless, this video is not about the quarantine. This video is going to be a review video on the Russ Wernemont RWD RS1 shock for 2018 soft tails. So I've had the shock on my bike now for about 5,000 miles plus and I'm here to tell you guys that <laughs> kudos and much much respect to the small businesses out here putting fabulous products for uh, the new soft tails. Now, the Rust Wernemont shock is no different. This shock is amazing. I've uh, been in the twisties up in Bear Mountain. I've been up the twisties up in upstate New York. And uh, this shock does not disappoint. Every time I get on this bike, it is it's fantastic. It's just, it's compliant. It's everything you want on the street and everything you want, if you wanted to go to the track, it can do. It's just uh, the technology that um, the team at RWD and Walker Evans Racing really put out is, is phenomenal. I really did appreciate their background in it, their background in uh, motorsports, and that was really what drove my choice toward the shock. But it's 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 just phenomenal. It, there's no there's no other way of comparing it to anything else because it's the only thing I've run on this bike, and probably the only ever shocks I will probably ever run on any other bikes I do plan to get in the future. But, um, but yeah, it's absolutely phenomenal. It's just, it, it's undescribable the difference from stock to RWD or aftermarket shock for any matter. It's just, um, it's unreal. Not to mention, I also have it paired with Legend Axio cartridges in the front, which I'll also be making a review video on that. And, um... And yeah, it's, it's just... I can't describe how well this bike really handles with upgraded components. It was already great. And it's just fucking awesome. Why would anyone ever want a bagger? It's beyond me. Retail, you know, I picked this shock up from uh, Get Lowered. And of course, I always got to support my local businesses, Get Lowered Cycles. The, honestly, down to earth dudes and they've had my back since I've started motor vlogging and um, they're just just an awesome bunch of guys man um you know big shout out to Rob and uh, the guys that get lowered and shout out to um, all our health heroes out here right now putting in the work even if they are speeding Cause I'd love to give you a ticket if I were you. <laughs> the, 
the shop because it, it deserves that and uh, those guys really uh, deserve this video and, and I don't know if they're getting any praise for it but here's your praise it's good job guys very well made and and that's another thing just the materials you know they're using ibox springs or spring for that matter and it's uh it's just it's just it's quality it's quality 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 all like everywhere just looking at it makes your eyes just it just makes your eyes want to tear and cry it's it's so beautiful like you it's almost you don't want to put it on your bike because you don't want to ruin it with rock chips and mud and all that shit but at the end of the day you do want to put it on your bike because you want to go dig hard into those turns and uh and have a great ride also want to give a slight shout out to legend suspension as well uh, I wish they would have had come out with a monoshock design and not the airbag deal but you know I also have them up in the front there I don't know if you guys can see them and uh, got a video coming out on those two as well uh, my thoughts and impressions on that now running those for like over a thousand miles I put a little bit more miles on the rear shock because I had the rear shock in first. But um, nonetheless, definitely those deserve those deserve a video as well. Also guys, stay tuned. I also have a video coming out on club life. How it was prospecting for my club and what do I think going forward for prospective members of any club, whether it's 99% or 1%. And I know I'm not gonna be the first one to hit those videos, but I'm gonna give a shout out here to Demons Row. Real dude putting out real information out on clubs now on the YouTubes. And um, yeah, man, give him a follow, give him a like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, the dude's putting out real stuff, man, and that's what I like to hear when I see club videos out, because there's a lot of negativity out on clubs, and I want to, I want clubs to break the stigma, you know, it's uh, that we're bad, and you know, and they have this just negative, negative light when people see a club member or prospect or whatever the case may be some type of club affiliation and if guys if this video does come out with this blue hue that i noticed when i turned my camera on today i apologize i will try to fix this issue and uh yeah this will only be Hopefully only this video. Uh, I gotta find out. Maybe I need a firmware update or something along those lines, but we'll, we'll get to the bottom of it. So yeah, guys, um, quality on the shock is, is phenomenal. Um, it's made in the USA which I always will support USA made products and supporting those companies so price wise it is uh, similarly priced around the most shocks that are on the market at the moment um, you know, you have uh, Racing Bros and companies like that and Olin's and, uh, you know, I'm not going to compare it to an Olin's because I think this is in a different class in itself. Uh, you know, I 
I think that the Owens is probably gonna be the best shock out there right now just because of they have this reputation of being great with that being said um, I think it's preference at that point because I'm willing to go as far as to say that the RWDs are probably the best performing shock out right now for the soft tail but that's just my opinion you know I've never ridden a bike with Olin's anything on it but um I will I will I will say that I'm gonna stop for this one and not eat it I'm gonna say that the shock does perform very well Here's something that much, many reviewers or motor vloggers don't talk about with shocks, and that's riding two up. Um, riding two up on these newer soft tails isn't as bad as what you would think. Uh, the shock is very compliant with two up riding, and I have ridden two up with the passenger before, and it is very, very pleasant actually. Uh, the RWD does. It does give me a lot of confidence while riding with the passenger. It does allow a lot of comfort for the passenger, I've heard. And um, and it's just overall, it's it, it's just a great shock too still for the rider. It, it you know, as you hit bumps, you, you know, you know you're hitting a bump. It's not gonna, you know, bang you over the head and jar your bones. It's very compliant and that's one of the reasons why I did go with RWD with their background and their background is you know dune buggy racing and uh, off-road racing and you can't get any more sophisticated when it comes to rebound and compression technology and suspension technology than real world application and that is real world application in my opinion you know uh, riding on the track where the pavement is it's completely flat and perfect and maybe you know small divots here and there it, it always isn't the best indicator of uh, performance and you need to go with something that's very streetable and uh, made for the way you want it to perform you know comfort was a big decision in me buying the shock but also I knew that they had racing background when it came to these things and that's something that going forward I knew I knew that they they knew what they were doing and I, I trust them and and they they have me as a customer for life here with this Now I want to get to one negative point and this might not be negative at all. I think it it's might might just be preference like I all of my cons or negative feelings about anything is generally just nitpicking. And so one thing that I did nitpick about about the shock and that probably many of you will is the fact that at the time or maybe you know of the time of this video i'm not sure if they did come out uh with a fix for this but basically the fix is different shock heights um you know when i bought it for get lower they didn't have any different uh, options in terms of shock height spring height or you know shock overall length maybe i could be wrong but it's very possible that you could probably just order it from get lowered and tell them you know hey i want a, a 14 inch shock or a four, 14 and a half or 13 and a half or 13 uh you know dimension shock when it comes to when it comes to the product you know and they'd reach out to rwd and they make it for you you know i'm i'm not sure but at the end of the day i'm pretty sure that that's very much a possibility
And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you could reach out to them and get a specific height if you wanted to. I got the standard height, which was 13 and a half. And honestly, I think that's the perfect height for this bike. And for, you know, in general, it's, it's not super high, but it's not slammed. And uh, it does give you a lot of performance. 14 is probably good as well, but that's maybe for somebody who's a little bit taller of a rider than me. Uh, you know, I'm around the realm of 5'9", 5'10", so for me, it's probably not going to be ideal to be running like a 14, 14 and a half inch sock, etc. And just taking these bumps right here on this, you know, beautiful Route 22 uh, road upstate. And, uh, it's just look i'm taking these bumps like like nobody's business it's just it just goes you know you point the bike where you want to go and it's gonna go and it's very comfortable and very happy doing so and so youtube this is my RWD review, a review on the Russ Wernemont RS1 Monoshock for the 2018 and up soft tails. And I also get some pics of the stance of the bike and I'll throw them up in the video at the end. And, uh, and yeah, you guys tell me what you think. And uh, and like like always, much love and respect to everybody here, everybody out here on two wheels and our health heroes. Special shout out to Kate, FX Strong's fiance slash soon to be wife out here for doing the thing for us and uh, working strong. I appreciate you, Kate, and I love you. We'll talk soon. And like always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Holla at your boy, FXFBNYC. I know I keep kept you guys waiting, but... Things happen and life happens, man. So I'm back and, you know, hopefully I can keep dropping them. But, uh... We're back, baby. Stay safe, everyone, and we'll talk soon.